from the newsroom at news.com.au. Hi there, I'm Andrew Bucklow. And I'm Bronte Coy. And this is the latest from the newsroom. It's Wednesday the 23rd of March. Well, we'll start with a sporting bombshell. Ash Barty's just announced she's retiring from tennis at the age of 25. The world number one made the announcement in a video on social media. Take a listen. I'm so happy and I'm so ready. And I just know at the moment in my heart for me as a person, this is right. And um, I know I've I've done this before, um, but in a very different feeling. And I'm so grateful to everything that tennis has given me it's given me all of my dreams plus more but I know that the time is right now for for me to step away and chase other dreams um and yeah and to to put the rackets down Retiring at 25, that is not bad at all. Yeah, we're about 20 years too late for that. Uh, In other news, (laughs) WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange is getting married to his long-term partner Stella Morris today. The service will take place in a high-security London prison and will be attended by just four guests, two witnesses and two security guards. How romantic. Vivian Westwood, who is a supporter of Assange's, has designed Morris's wedding dress. At least the search for a venue would have been made pretty easy. (laughs) True. (laughs) I can tell you, it's a real, real nightmare. Moving on, more than 42,000 tickets have already been snapped up for Shane Warne's state funeral. 30,000 of the tickets, which are free, went in less than three hours after they were released yesterday. The service will be held at the MCG next Wednesday at 7pm local time. Overseas now, a Russian government spokesman has refused to rule out using nuclear weapons against Ukraine. Here's what he had to say during a TV interview. We have a concept of uh, domestic security. And, uh, well, it's public. You can read all the reasons for nuclear uh, arms to be used. So if it is an existential threat for our country, then it can be used in accordance with our concept. To music news now, you know that Tones and I song, Dance Monkey? Oh, I love well, it. It's not possible that you don't. <laughs> well, it turns out Tones and I herself is over that song. Have a listen to what she had to say on Nova about it. But I don't want to, like, just try to chase, like, that song. Like, I loathe that song a lot of the time. <laughs> like, a lot of the times I don't want to sing it. I'm not going to write another song like it. Even though she doesn't love it, I have a feeling she'll be singing that song for years to come. And finally, there's been a happy ending for West Side Story star Rachel Zegler. That's a mouthful. Now, earlier this week, she shocked fans when she revealed she hadn't been invited to this year's Oscars, despite her film being nominated for seven awards. But after a huge backlash, the 20-year-old has not only scored a ticket to the ceremony, but has also been invited to present an award. That's honestly only fair. It's truly wild that she hadn't been invited. Like, what more do you have to do? (laughs) Anyway, that's the latest. I've got opinions, obviously. That's the latest from the newsroom. We'll be back with another update soon. Your headlines from news.com.au. 